Some of you are here because you're thinking of downsizing. Many of you are in different situations. Some of you are um, you know, couples, some of you are singles, some of you may have lost a partner, all different circumstances. But I think the common thread that we see through when we're researching is that choice, control and flexibility that people are looking for. And it's about getting more money in the bank. So land lease communities are quite different to retirement villages. In a land lease community you're in a pretty unique situation where you own your home and you lease the land on which it sits. Downsizing is clearly a big change and it's a big commitment. So you need to invest appropriately in that process and get some good advice up front, both legal advice and financial advice. So unlike a retirement village, for example, where you may still have a leasehold arrangement, but the leasehold is over the entire property, in a land lease community, you've bought the house and you're leasing the land on which it sits. And from a Centrelink point of view, it's quite unique. It makes you a homeowner and a tenant at the same time, which is why a lot of people who live in land lease communities are eligible for Commonwealth rent assistance. And of course, the big topic at the moment is exit fees and land lease communities offer people the opportunity to buy into a retirement community without worrying about those exit fees. It's just exactly what I was looking for and it's a great yeah, concept for me. Far to go, we, it's at our at doorstep, yes. we can literally walk yeah. out our homes and into the pool or go for a walk, all feeling very safe and secure. No entry fee, no exit fee is a great bonus because you know what you're buying is yours and um, yeah and just I think you're not just buying a home, you're buying a lifestyle. Mm -hmm.